Well, hello everybody, it's Tim Topham here, and uh, I just wanted to jump on quickly to give you a little sneak peek about something that uh, me and my team have been working on for quite a while now and uh, is due to be released this month. Uh, I'll tell you about it in a moment, but first I want to discuss the issue that this is actually solving because um, I'm very conscious that I'm one of the many people out in the world uh, in your field who uh, is putting out a whole lot of information for you, and it's very easy to feel that sense of overwhelm, like I'm pointing a fire hose of information at you when all you really need is a little trickle every now and then. Uh, and that's, of course, compounded by the fact that uh, most of us really want the best for our students and the best for our studio. So we're always trying to keep abreast of new information, but sometimes there's too many things going on and it's like, where do I start? What do I do? Now, if you're feeling a little bit like that and you're in need of a bit of clarity and guidance when it comes to actually what you should be doing at any particular stage uh, of your teaching journey, then I'm really excited because this month I release our Studio Growth Roadmap and it's designed exactly to solve those problems. The the problem is, of course, too much information. So the solution is, rather than me pumping out even more information, what instead I've done is I've organized all the information into literally a roadmap that steps people through from starting very beginnings uh, of being a piano teacher and a starting a studio through right through to teaching the first lessons to adapting your teaching when uh, you know new challenges come along growing the studio, marketing and building, potentially if you want to, uh, hiring teachers or getting multiple locations or teaching group, those kinds of things. And then even moving on to the last stage, which is what, which I've called pivoting, which is information about what you could potentially do if you're really happy with all the piano teaching, how all that's going, and you're looking for maybe another opportunity to perhaps build an online business or sell a course online or sell some music or become a composer or things like that. So the roadmap is, uh, is something we've been creating over the last, uh, literally the last few months. And what it does is it combines every bit of content that I've ever created, every podcast, every blog post, every video, every Facebook Live like this into one sequenced plan. And so what I thought I'd do quickly is give you a sneak peek in actually having a look at what we've, uh, what we've created. Uh, and as, as I say, it's still in the, uh, in the process of being developed, but we're pretty close. And the goal will be to release this on the 15th of February, 2018. So uh, let's flip over to my screen now so you can get a sense of uh, what we're doing here. So this is uh, the main uh, information, the landing page, which shows the actual segments uh, of the roadmap. And you can see here, a quick little overview. The purpose of the roadmap is to guide you through the complete process of creating a successful piano teaching studio one step at a time. And no matter which stage of the journey you're at, you can follow the steps to plan, build, adapt, grow, whatever, depending on where you're at and, of course, your goals. Because not everyone wants a massive studio with uh, you know hundreds of students and staff to manage and things. Many people are really happy with their own studio uh, at home even. So, uh, you know, you don't have to suddenly start building massive um, studios just because uh, that's what, you know, the, the next step might be. So let's have a look at actually the steps and then I'll show you how it actually, how each step uh, actually looks. So the first step is the planning stage. It's all about setting the direction of your studio by exploring three vital things, philosophy, your mission and your vision, and trying to get all of those things right and aligned with our goals. This is really, really important to start with. Now, of course, this stage is really useful even if you've been teaching for ages, but you've never really thought about some of those initial uh, teaching goals and what you're actually trying to achieve for students. So this stage is really handy for a number of people at various levels of their teaching. We go on after that to the building stage, and this is really where all the business side of getting set up um, happens. So working on the branding and the logo, websites, social profiles, getting your technology set up, um, knowing your numbers, getting a, a business plan together, um, considering your marketing. Sounds like a lot of information, but again, it's step by step. You just take one step at a time, and when you're done, you can mark it complete and move on to the next stage. Then we've got what I call the teaching stage. And this is now that you've got everything set up, 
it's time to start putting everything into action and start teaching your first lesson. So the teaching stage is all about the pedagogy. It's the most exciting time for new teachers. What will you teach? How will your students enjoy it? Uh, how are you going to connect with them? These are the kinds of questions we uh, get into. Also, uh, we're talking about um, whether you would like to you know, develop your curriculum uh, and plan your lessons, uh, or are you going to go off the cuff? Uh, like, how are you going to do things? This is in the teaching stage, and that's what all of that's about. The uh, adapting stage is the next one. So when you've got a studio that's running relatively effectively, you've got a number of students, you may realize after a while that your teaching isn't cutting it or it just needs a bit of tweaking here and there uh, or maybe even a complete overhaul. So that's what the adapting stage is about. And this is where you would start if you're pretty confident in your teaching, but maybe you know you want to get a little bit more creative or do a bit more pop or you've had a few students that have kind of been wavering and then maybe quit because you haven't been able to connect with them so well. So this is about adapting. Um, maybe it's about having some special needs students or suddenly teaching some adults or some preschoolers that you wouldn't normally teach. So the adapting stage is about adapting your teaching to suit whatever is coming uh, up for you. And as I say here on the screen, you know, it's not ever necessarily going to be complete. You're going to come in and out of the adapting stage uh, as you go. The fifth stage is called the growing stage. So once your studio is up and running, it's time to focus on growing your student numbers, retaining students effectively, and ensuring the day-to-day -day management of your studio runs smoothly, and maybe even without your help. So in this stage, we talk about ways that you can automate uh, things, uh, ways using technology and software to both market your studio and also help run the studio. We'll talk about hiring teachers and getting rental spaces and even expanding to multiple locations. Again, not what everyone wants to do, but for those who do, this is going to be such a great help. And the final stage I've called pivoting, and this is for teachers who are, they've got the studio of their dreams, students are happy, parents are happy, things are ticking over, and you're thinking, well, what's next? What could I do now? And we've got a number of members who are at this stage in their teaching, and I've been doing a little bit of consulting one-on-one -on -one with, with some of them in order to work out what could they do next. So this is an incredibly exciting stage. This final stage is actually still under development. We're still adding information to it. But let me show you what happens uh, at the start of the roadmap, because one of the hardest things will be working out where you should begin, of course. So I've got a solution for that, and we've got a quiz for you. So we've got a quiz that takes you through eight questions. Uh, questions like, how many students do you teach? How big do you want to get? Uh, how creative is your teaching? Um, how's your business looking? There's a, a number of questions like that, which eventually will drop you into one of the stages of the roadmap. This is really, really cool. I'm very, very excited about this because it just takes that hassle away from people having to think, oh, I don't know which stage I'm at. Now, of course, the quiz will give you a suggestion of where you might want to start, but you don't have to begin there either. You can just jump into whatever stage you want. So let me give you a look at the uh, planning stage here right now. Uh, and I can see, Maggie, you've got a bit of a, a comment there. Um, <laughs> it was about I'm a veteran teacher, studio owner, but I love to have new ideas thrown out there. Uh, yeah, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to stop throwing new ideas out there. I can't really help myself, uh, but I'm very conscious of trying to organize it. So the great thing is that every new bit of information that I put out there will end up being added to the roadmap. So it's only going to grow over time. So if you have a look here, this is the overview of the planning stage. And you can see there's two inf bits of information on the right-hand side. We've got the course project. This is the, 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 tr the progress you are making through the roadmap. Uh, and also over here, the course navigation. So you can see here are the number, uh, the lessons or modules within the planning stage. There's, I don't know, 12 or something like that. Uh, and you can also see those down here. So if we just click on the first one here, this is the start with why. It's one of the you know most important questions to begin with. So you can scroll down here. You'll see about brainstorming, my suggestion, step two, think about your three pillars of teaching. And then uh, I've already done this topic and I've been testing it out. When you are first doing this, you'll see a button down here that says mark complete. And you just click that and it will take you on to the next one and it'll check that one off for you. Uh, so if I head to the uh, building stage, for example, just using the right-hand navigation, uh, you can see down here that one of these uh, is yet to be checked off. So if I go to that one, 
I think we'll find that this is one that we're still working on. Oh, we've got some information about My Music staff there. And here you go, you can see the My Mark Complete button. So if I click that one, I'm going to be taken straight across to the next one, and that one's going to be now, as you can see, checked off, which is really, really cool. So this is how we've organized it. I think it's going to be an absolute game changer for lots of teachers who are looking for help in these areas. Let me just show you quickly the, the growing stage, because I know a lot of teachers are definitely at this stage. Uh, and so this is all about, you can see the number of modules down here, marketing, online, offline, Facebook and Google ads, studio retention, group teaching, keyboard ensemble, summer camp, blah, blah, lots and lots of information. But the great thing is, just you can just check through it. Just go one by one, check it off as you go, uh, and see how your studio shines and the kind of progress that you can make. That's what this is all about and why I'm very, very excited by the whole thing. So that was a, a little sneak peek of the studio growth roadmap that uh, I've been developing for a little while. If you've got any questions about it, let me know. Uh, I would love to hear any thoughts you might have. I'm gonna start wrapping up in just a couple of minutes. I didn't wanna take too long out of your afternoon, evening, or morning, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, thank you, Jamie, for your feedback there. That's awesome to read. Um, and uh, yeah, as I say, the, the main kind of reason I wanted to do this is just to, to streamline uh, your ability to find what you need quickly and also see it in a sequenced plan. Um, there's now, uh, there has to be 600, I think, articles on my blog now. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of great content there from maybe two, three, four years ago that of course no one really sees anymore, uh, but it's just as relevant. So that's another kind of reason why putting it into a structure can really help people find that information when it's relevant to them. So uh, I hope that sounds interesting. As I say, we're gonna release this on the 15th of February. That is my plan. It's not too long away, uh, but we're also pretty close. And this is, this is something that uh, members of my inner circle have uh, access to. So if you are a member, then you'll get automatically get access to all of this and I'll be giving you some overview videos of the best ways to approach it, where to start and where to use it. But of course you've got that great quiz that's gonna actually jump you in to the right stage for you uh, and your studio. And keep in mind too, as I said at the beginning, it doesn't matter where you're at now or how big or not big you wanna get in the future. We don't all necessarily want to have the hassle of hundreds of kids and multiple staff members and teams and hiring space and all that kind of stuff. Some people do and, uh, and that's fantastic. So this will help them there. For others, just like Maggie's mentioned here, just you know, getting new ideas into your studio in probably that adapting stage uh, can be one of the most beneficial things for you and your students. So. Um, I do hope that's helpful. I'm going to sign off uh, and uh, wish you all the best for the rest of your day. Uh, if it sounds like something that interests you, we'd love to hear back or just give us a bit of a, a thumbs up or a heart. I always like, always like seeing these um, pop across the screen every now and then. So uh, if you're up for that, feel free. And of course, if you've got any piano teaching friends who might value this, then please use that share button down below. Always great to uh, spread the word about uh, new things happening and not just new information, but new organizing of information. I hope that helps. All right, guys, have a great night or day wherever you are, and we'll see you again really soon. Bye-bye.